Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to you if you're new here. My name is Lerato. Guys, I'm starting off the vlog in the parking lot. Um, I am doing weekly um, grocery runs. I need to top up on the kids' lunchbox stuff. It's mainly fruits, guys. I think we all know the fruits are Okono Direka like in bulk for the month. So I normally just break up my budget and I buy them weekly. So yeah, guys, so this shop, this shopping center, they've been busy building something. So I've come to this mall today after like, I could say roughly two weeks. So guys, there are so many shops coming up here and it's so exciting. There's Econo Foods coming up and Econo Foods in the kids bang Mojoberg is the one in was it Randberg? So it was a bit of a distance. So I'm glad that Econo Foods will be here. At home is going to be here guys. So I'm really excited. New balance store is going to be here. I'm not a sneakerhead, but um because I'm a boy mom can I know at some point the best di take guys and I guess sure I've keep prepared. But anyway, yeah guys, welcome to my vlog. Welcome, like I said earlier on, welcome to you all. My name is Lerato, if I didn't mention that um, earlier on. Guys, let's go in. Today is a Sunday. I want to be done as soon as possible because, because Sunday. I want to relax and just um, embrace the new week and prepare for the new week that's coming. Okay guys, shop for now. See you later. Hey guys, I hope you can hear me clearly. Um, I don't have my mic connected. Anyway, I'm back from this, this came and food lovers. Basically, I'm back from running errands. Oh, guys. 
and I'm glad the time is just after one now so I literally finished when I wanted to finish I just thought I should show you what I got from this game this game I got this lip gloss my other ones are finished and then I got the hair spray that I was talking about. I love, love, love this spray, guys. It makes my hair so soft. And then I got um getting into hand wash because we've run out of hand wash. And I'm very finicky when the kids come back from school. I want them to wash their hands whenever we get back from school or any other time besides from getting back from school. Um I'm a, I don't know what to say, I'm a neat freak like that or what, but yeah, I just like it when my kids' hands are clean. Um, I also got this ginger balm. Guys, people are getting so sick from Seritzin and I don't want that. I've already, I'm already drinking one. People are getting so sick from Seritzin, guys. I don't want to get sick, guys. Yo, flu ya wana jinji. Guy comes with something else, jinji. I don't want to take my chances, guys. Anyway, get la lebona next time, guys. Chances are maybe I'll see you either during the week or else I'll have to see you next week Saturday on another weekend vlog. Guys, bye for now. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Take care of yourself. Bye. Timelang, guys, welcome back to another day of this vlog. Today is Saturday, the 26th of May. Guys, I'm outside the salon here in Kempton Park. And just to give you a bit of context, guys, I also stay in the East Rand, but um, Kempton Park is about 30 minutes away from where I stay. In. So, um, this salon i came specifically to it guys because obviously i want to do my hair i want to plait my hair i want to do i think maybe it's a freehand plaiting kashoa kasho to gigging gigging ropos kibatweta spawn so anyway i was still getting to telling you the the context behind me coming here guys um if you're new here um i used to work at the airport for quite a couple of years ne? and every single time so the airport in Kempton Park well the airport and where I plait my hair are literally like not even five minutes apart away you know? so anyway I used to come here guys so much and yo, and lately I've been missing this side of town so much I've been missing like my previous job I've just been in my feelings lately, you know, so I came here to do my hair because guys, you know, if you know, um, like they really know how to do hair guys. And that's in my personal opinion and they're very gentle with your hair. So this morning I, I didn't wash my hair. I just like put water on it and then just so I can see the texture. Um, at some, at some, at, at some point I'm going to um, relax it but I give it like a whole yana and then I'm going to relax it because I feel like when you plait with natural hair your your hairstyles don't last for too long and I don't like that and then now one thing about me I love freehand um, plaiting um, your, one of your wigs you can miss me your braids oh, like once in maybe three years or once in two years but this year I was hoping that I could do braids um, but I'll see how that works out. Anyway, I just went out to ask some of the guys Momo Kawashi. So this gentleman here, I think he's gonna show up in yeah, this one here. <laughs> Shame he was kind enough to call one of the ladies for me. Um they haven't opened. The time now is literally just after nine. They haven't opened, so I'm thinking maybe never snuggly client for the day. So this lady said she's 10 minutes away if i don't mind waiting and of course i don't mind waiting i drove 30 minutes so what is 10 minutes away 
so I'm waiting for the lady to, to do my hair. And one thing I love about them, they also wash your hair before they actually start. So I'm going to ask it to her, maybe like a little bit of fiber just to make the hairstyle last a bit longer. Because I'm not going back to that wool plaiting, guys. Oh, that thing is so hard to unplait, the wool one. So yeah, I'm going to do a freehand plait <coughs> with a little bit of fiber. Um, yeah, I'll show you when I'm done, guys. And this really is my signature. I don't even want to say it used to be my signature look. This is my signature look. Um, I'll try and insert some pictures for you here, guys. Um, yeah, let me just wait for them. I wish I would have had coffee before Vafnuta. Because I didn't make coffee when I left home. Ah, but it's fine. Because if I move, and then they're going to take my parking spot, and then they're going to battle for us. Like, you know how Murphy's Law is. And then nothing happens. Then the moment something happens, when I saw it, and then I saw it, and then I saw So it's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll thug this one out. Anyway, guys, um, excuse me. Um, let me see you when I'm done, when I'm all dolled up. Okay, guys, sharp, okay. I'm done doing my hair guys um this is what it looks like i'll try and take a 360 um video of my head and show you how it looks it's exactly what i wanted um but also guys you know i wanted to discuss something i cannot discuss this per se but i've realized something you know in life sometimes when you're done with something you need to be done with it um i, I think i mentioned this previously on my vlog when i was at the salon you know lately i've been missing Basically, I've been missing my old life, you know, and me going back to this particular salon was just Hobi Sapilu because I really, really missed that part of um, the East and I missed my old job. You know, there was just a lot going on lately and I feel like just Hobi Sapilu, hence I went back to go plait my hair where I used to plait it but you know sometimes you must just let sleeping dogs lie guys so I'm in the parking lot sometimes you must just let sleeping dogs lie because sometimes it's just not worth going back um I'm talking about my hair um don't get me wrong I've got no issues with the lady who did my hair um it was a bit painful on it it's not painful it's just uncomfortable you know how how your hair becomes uncomfortable and just a bit tight to show that something has been done to it you know but um yeah i've got no issues with the lady who did my hair um it's just that the service for that place guys has changed so drastically i mean granted it's been four years since the last day since the last time i was there so obviously things will change and i think i also needed to remind myself of that or you know did you dare change guys didn't try to aim me one place you know but as for going sorry guys i got cut off for some odd reason but um i don't think i'm gonna go back to the salon anymore um merely because of the changes that have happened um the ladies that i used to know are no longer there and i've got no beef with the new ladies but i just feel like you know sometimes mobile pillow it's always wise to to not look back just keep it moving i think now today was a confirmation that um how sana nix how sana they with that life that you used to miss you know sometimes it also happens like hobale like a partner has one you ask yourself oh, is it worth going back and sometimes you realize or oh, you know what it's actually worth my while to move on rather than to go back so this was the case in my this was the situation in my case sorry i think it's safe to say that i can move on and look for another um salon to do my hair anyway guys um we have come to the end of our vlog i really hope that you enjoyed this vlog please don't forget to subscribe like the video 
and do comment about what are your views about going back to a situation be it a hair salon like in my case or just anything Jay. but i guess give a pillow you you do tend to miss either the old you or the old things that you used to do so yeah anyway just do comment down below what are your views about just generally going back to a situation anyway guys sharp let me get going